everybody. Well, today we're going to be talking about comments people leave on YouTube. Um, in making my videos, if I'm going to do the best job I possibly can. And if you disagree with it, or you think I'm wrong in any sort of way, I had no problem with you leaving me a comment and telling me why, but, but if you tell me how wrong I truly am, you better be able to produce some sort of evidence about it. Something new. Cold hard facts, paper from the manufacturer that says how I am wrong. Or otherwise, you know, because whatever I do on here is going to be where everybody can see it. So why would I want to do something wrong? Because customers are seeing these videos and, and, and I put myself out there. So anyway, and besides that, the people that leave the bad, bad comments, they're not putting videos up. So you can't go to, because whenever I get a comment, I always go to the people's site, to their channel, and, and look them up and see what they're doing, what they're up to. And the people that do leave comments, bad ones anyway, never have videos up. So, you know, if you're not going to put yourself up there, don't leave comments. Bad ones anyway. But anyway, so that's beside the point. Um, I got a comment the other day that told me I was wrong about something. And I know I'm not wrong. And if you want to see the comment, just go to this video here and you can see it. Um, the link's up there. Click on it. Go read the comment. And uh, tell me what you think. But anyway, so... I'm going to explain a little bit about it, and the comment was that I was wrong about brazen line set. Well, I'm going to tell you why I'm brazen. Well, because I have worked on a lot of Mitsubishis, and most of the time when you work on them, it's because of a freon leak. And it's because of the flare joints are leaking, because somebody has not done it right, or made a flare wrong, or whatever so they're out of freon well a couple of those i've had to change compressors on because of it being out of freon and trying to run so i just avoid the whole thing and i braze my lines together well i have my torches out there so i have a brand brand new set of line set which has flare connections on it so i'm going to cut those flare connections off swedge it and Put the factory flare on the unit but i will change the little nut that comes with the unit because it's bigger and stronger and i take that nut off of the unit and put it on the flare connection which they recommend you doing and going on about my business that's why i've raised the line set so anyway so if you if you're going to leave a con a comment make sure that you have the facts to back up your comment if you don't then i'm going to do a video about it and i like doing videos so it's not hurting me so if you want to leave bad comments go ahead but like i said if you if you're going to leave comments bad ones have some videos up on your channel you put yourself out there or otherwise just pipe down and be quiet anyway Let's go look at the uh, letter I got from Mitsubishi proven that you can braise the line set. Thanks and have a great day. All right, here we are. Oh, and by the way, I did not put this in. This was actually, this picture of this unit was put in behind a permit office. And I just going to pull a permit and walk by and thought it was funny that this was uh, put in behind a permit office. You can't see at the top, but uh, as you see, if you ever need to get the top off, you can't get it off because there's no room right there. But anyway, let's open that email up. So I've already got it pulled up. Um, Jim Jordan. Click on it. And then you see Jim Jordan, Application Specialist. Um, gives his email address and uh, web page and, of course, Mitsubishi Electric. And so let's see, let's open it up here. All right, so here you go. And I'm not gonna read it, I'll let you go ahead and 
You can read it. But there it talks about it can be the lines that can be brazed as long as the triple evacuation and a micron gauge uh, evacuated at 500 microns. So there you go. All right, while we're sitting over here looking at letters, I thought I'd show you my Mitsubishi Electric um, Diamond Contractor letter that I got. There you go. Let's get some pictures open for you. Um, I'm not going to scroll all the way down because it's got some information that you don't need to really see. So anyway, it says congratulations on achieving Mitsubishi Electric Diamond Contract for 2013. Um, so there you go. Um, I don't know what else to say, but if I want to braid the line set, I'm going to. So, y'all have a great day.